we're in uh, a 66 inch diameter PCCP pipe that's part of the transmission main system, just about a little less than a mile from where the River Road uh, break occurred a couple of Christmases ago. It looked like a dam had broken, what with cars being swept down River Road. In general, I think the pipe is in pretty good shape. Um, we, um, we've already repaired uh, two segments of, of it with using carbon fiber wrap uh, technology. Um, we have five more, I think, that we're doing that with. We only have to replace one to two percent of these things. Um, and so that means that most of them are in still very good shape. In fact, the pipe that we're in right now, if you just look around, it's hard to see maybe on the camera, is in very, very good shape. Um, and so to replace that would be a travesty, a waste of, uh, waste of uh, precious resources, uh, time, money. So what um, this inspection program does in leaving this cable behind, it allows us to to um, monitor the, the pipelines and, and deal with only the ones we have to when we have to deal with them. We have 77 or 77.7 .7 miles of 48 inch and larger pipes of this type. Um, we have this pipe, or the, uh, this cable now in about 17 miles of that that's active. Um, that's gonna jump up with this run and, and getting this all back into service. Uh, Oh gosh, I think we'll be up around 40 by the end of the uh, by the end of this season. This program um, started off at smaller amounts. We've we've ramped it up probably to the maximum that we can do operationally in a year. The challenges in doing the program is not just money; it's that we can't take all of these lines out of service at any one time and still be able to support our customers uh, with the water that they need. Working closely with the customer care team and the inspection installations, that close contact, the synergy we're really building through the program has been very effective in allowing us to uh, complete these in a, in a very timely, well-scheduled, uh, well-executed fashion. We have a, uh, a little plan we put together uh, just for 10 years, what we need to do for our underground infrastructure in terms of maintenance costs as well as capital costs is about $2.5 billion. That's what we really need to be doing and it's going to be a challenge to come up with that kind of money. And we're probably not going to be able to come up with that kind of money. So we're going to have to make judicious decisions on how we spend the money we get to get the most out of the funds that we do get. Um, and, um, and that's what makes this job a challenge and interesting and rewarding all at the same time.